Hello there everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be filming a what I got for my birthday 2021 edition. It also goes without saying that I am incredibly grateful for any little message, card, present, bits of money, absolutely anything that I received during my birthday and like over the course of that time period. Um, I feel like everyone does those little disclaimers but you just have to put it out there. Of course this is in no way me bragging or trying to show off, I just like showing you what I've got and I also like watching these videos so for I may as well film one but without any further ado let's just get started so I'm going to start off by showing you what my family and friends got me and then move on to what Charlie got me and I'm going to start off by actually getting my nanny and granddad's present to me now my nanny and granddad usually just give me some money and a few like little silly presents but this year they decided to up the game a little bit I suppose or be a bit funny and there's an ongoing theme in this house of us really liking pigs Charlie brought that theme to us and now it's kind of rubbed off on me a little bit too we really really love pigs in this household so rather than just giving me cash they actually put the cash that they were going to give me in individual pound coins all inside this little piggy bank which I thought was quite a nice touch I'm not going to lie it was a good thought it's just a little brown one it's got some little floral decorations here the ring light's not really letting that pick up very well and yeah just a cute little piggy and like very very kindly put my money in here all in pound coins so the bank are gonna love me when I take that to them not but at the same time very cute cool idea and a different way of giving people money for their birthdays if you were looking for a bit of inspiration so thank you very much to nanny and granddad for giving me this and giving me the money to go with Next up, I've got a few presents here that my mum gave me. So my mum, I actually asked for this because I saw her give it to my granddad for his birthday. And I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's this little container and inside there's a sponge and it's for cleaning all of the dashboard on your car and it smells like lemon. So I really, really don't know what they're called, but my mum says that they're really, really good. My granddad seemed over the moon with his and he takes such good pride in his car and like cleanliness, he cleans it every week. So I thought, oh, I'd like one of those. So my mum was like, what do you want for your birthday later on in the day? And I was like, oh, I'll have one of those sponges. So I got one of those from my mum. I also had this on my birthday list. You can get these in B&M. I think they're like $1.99 or something like that. And you basically blow in this little whistle a little ball of plastic on the end which blows up to a big bubble then you take it off and then you can just play with this bubble so it's kind of like if you're hitting a balloon up in the air but instead it's just plastic some sort of plastic i don't know why i like these i've received three of these for my birthday um so i really really like them if you can't tell but yeah just a little novelty present which i really really like and then the last thing that my mum gave me was this little box, I suppose you'd call it, like a stationary box. And it's got the world all over it. I really like travelling, if you're new here. It's one of my passions. So it's got the world all over it. It says explore, dream, discover. And inside there's lots of little post-it notes. And then at the bottom there's also a drawer where you can put whatever you want in. So that will be a nice little addition to our desk or stationary cupboard. So thank you very much, Mother, for all of those. Then of a family, family over here. As I said, I haven't really organised this. My brother, he was very, very kind and came here and helped Charlie decorate because if you could see this living room right now, there is literally a balloon on every empty space on the ceiling. There's balloons behind me along with all my lovely cards. There's just balloons everywhere and he helped Charlie blow them all up. So really, really thankful for him for doing that. And at the same time, he also gave me my birthday presents. And he has looked at my birthday list. Someone has sent that to him because quite high up on my list was this book from Paper Chase and it's called A List A Day Book and inside there is as I would imagine 365 lists I think potentially for a year if it's a list a day and they're all different so if I read out a few of them it's advice to my five year old self, bad habits, favourite ways to relax, things I'm excited about, all the things I need to do, flaws that I'm grateful for. And I just thought it was quite nice. Like I'm not gonna sit down and do it every day, but every so often if I open it up and just fill out a few at a time, I thought that would be really nice, something nice to look back on and you kind of see how you grow and how you mature and develop. And I thought that would be a really nice way of kind of measuring that without having to do too much thinking. 
So I asked for this for my birthday. It's on my birthday list. And as I said, this was from Paper Chase. And it was also £10 because he's left the price tag on it. So if anyone's interested, get yourself down there and pick one of these up. On top of that, he also bought me two things from Lush. He bought me the Intergalactic Bath Balm, which is Charlie's favourite. So she's very jealous about that. But I've never used it, so I'm quite excited to. And he also bought me the Butterball Bath Balm. He also picked me up a head massager. We used to have one of these when we lived in the flat, but I don't know where it's gone now. So very happy to have another one of these because they really just feel incredible. And he also picked me up a little bag of coins like chocolate coins with cute little animals on them i don't think the camera's going to pick it up but there's one there no i don't think you can really see that but a bag of chocolate coins and if you know me you know chocolate go d goes down very well in this household okay so next up one of my best friends jess she sent me a book from Amazon and it's The Defining Decade 20, Why Your 20s Matter and How to Make the Most Out of Them. And this is from like a TED Talk, I think, like someone did a TED Talk on this, which I haven't watched a TED Talk, but I've seen this book recommended and some of the book groups that I'm in. And I thought I'd like to give that a quick read and just sort of see what it's like i thought it would be interesting anyway it might be a bit empowering and kind of different to my usual choice of books so i thought that would be quite nice that was on my amazon wish list which is just full of books so she very kindly sent me that and then sticking with the theme of books my friend luke also put, bought me a few little nice bits and pieces and he picked me up this book which is grace is gone which from reading the blurb kind of mirrors Dee Dee and Gypsy Rose storyline. It's that kind of thing, Munchausen, fetitious, whatever you choose to call it. Um, so yeah, very excited to give that a read and it might even be useful for my dissertation being as that's what I'm doing it on. So very excited about that. But what I'm even more excited about I've been looking at getting a disposable camera for a while and Luke actually picked me one up. I really, really like the idea of having a disposable and just capturing memories that are a bit more in the moment that you don't stand there and do like 10 different poses for and it's, it's just very, very real, you know? But I'm very excited to start taking pictures on this and then wait until I get it developed. I can't wait. So thank you very much, Luke. You've done absolutely amazing there. Then... The last bit of family slash friends that I have is Charlie's dad. But he very, very kindly bought me a brand new pair of old school Vans. And I'm so excited about this because I wear my Vans all the time. But have stopped doing that because mine are just so old and so grubby. And cleaning them just isn't cutting it anymore. Like, they're in a pretty bad way. I was going to take like a before and after picture, but it's just it's disgusting so i'm very excited to start wearing these i will try them on just in case but i know that a size 8 is gonna fit so i know he does watch these videos every so often so if you're watching this maynard charles thomas thank you very much i'm very very grateful for my new pair of trainers we are now going to move on to what charlie bought me and oh my goodness have i been absolutely spoiled i told her off this because she's just gone way way overboard and i'm so grateful and the presents that she's picked up are just so thoughtful so we'll start off by showing you just a few chockies so first up is my favorite like expensive chocolate and these are my absolute favorite they're the lint balls and i just think lint chocolate is the best she also bought me a box of Maltesers and it's been a hot minute since I've had Maltesers but I swear that they've made these bigger than what they used to be this box just feels really big like in comparison to my hand it's the whole size of my hand I didn't think they used to be that big but she thought these would be nice for a little movie night we don't watch movies very often but it kind of just puts you in the zone if you've got a bit of Malteser um to go down nicely with the movie so she picked me up one of those and even though it's not christmas we really love terry's chocolate orange in this house and it's been a long time since we've had any so i also got a terry's chocolate orange and then i really don't know where to start i suppose i'll show you these because i have already told you that i've got more of these she also got me two of these one blue one red i was about to say pink then but that's definitely red so got enough of these to last me a lifetime i'm very very happy about that not mad whatsoever 
and I just don't know where to start because they're all just so amazing so in no particular order I'll show you like the presents that I thought were the most thoughtful we both have this little like mini Ted Baker spray that we bought I love the Ted Baker sprays and she did say that she went in there to get the exact same one but couldn't find it and so she bought me a little gift set of three which I've never seen before I don't know if these are new or not it has been a while since I've bought a set um, but she got me a little set of free mini Ted Baker sprays, which I'm really grateful for. We love just carrying these around with us to have a little spritz up throughout the day. And I just thought that was a really, really thoughtful present because it's not something that I would have put on my birthday list or thought about asking for. But we are almost out of our other one and we both share it. So it would be nice to have a few different scents. And then the other things that I thought were the most thoughtful presents that she picked me up... I've really been struggling to sleep recently on the evenings and if you know me you know that I love my sleep so it's quite unusual. I think it might just be a bit of stress or worry and so she bought me some of the sleepy range from Lush. So this is a shower gel but she thought if I just wanted a quick shower before I go to bed then this would be ideal and it might just help relax me a little bit and then she also bought me this gift set which I didn't I feel like they only really did these at Christmas. I didn't know that these were a thing all year round. And inside it's got three different bath bombs. It's got a deep sleep one, the comforter and buttable bath bomb. But yeah, I thought these presents were really, really thoughtful because they're things that like I'm running out of. But just something that I've been struggling with like, oh, sorry, I just hit the ring light. Just something that I've been struggling with. And so she thought she could help and let me try some of those because it's not really something you'd buy for yourself i don't think so i'm really really appreciative of that another thing that she bought me and people are either gonna love or hate these again i need to try them on to make sure that they fit but i'm sure that they will she bought me a pair of crocs i thought crocs would be a really really nice thing mainly just to wear around the house in the summer because it's nice and cold but i'm sure there's a few outfits that i would wear it out and about with whether that's a nice little summer dress or just jeans and a white top so i'm very very excited about these i don't know if i should buy like i don't know if you can still get them nowadays but when i was younger i used to have the little pins or whatever they were called that you put inside the holes to jazz them up a little bit and i used to really really enjoy that so maybe i'll have a little look online and see if they still sell that sort of stuff but i got a pair of crocs and i'm really really happy about it but the next thing she bought me i am addicted at the minute to playing ludo on my phone online with like people from around the world i absolutely love it um and so she bought me the board game of ludo because we are board game connoisseurs in this house and this is going to be so much fun to play when people come around and she also said that this was only two pound 99 in the range which i was amazed about so really really happy with that my battery is flashing so i'm just going to quickly swap that over and come back down and show you the rest there's only a few items left apologies if the angle has changed i have moved it slightly i think but it shouldn't be too much of an issue the next few things that charlie picked me up it's just so nice because they're all for me to have a bit of fun with and they're hobbies that i quite like but don't really have too much time to dedicate to now that i'm at uni but because i'm finishing soon it's going to be so much fun to actually sit down and do these things when i've got a day off from work and my time is just my time without worrying about assignments i just can't wait for that so the first two things that kind of go together with this is two lovely puzzles. She bought me this one, which is 500 pieces and it's just a little cottage and flowery garden. I don't know how well you can see with the ring light, but it's really, really beautiful. And she also picked me up this one, which is kind of like a gardener's shed. I don't know how well you can see, but it's basically got everything that you would have in a shed if you're a pro gardener so i'm excited to have these ready for when i start working and i can get on with these on one of my days off which is really really exciting and then to go with that she also picked me up this which is something that i actually pointed out when we were in cornwall i saw this in the side of one of like the gift shops and i was like oh my god that's so good i never knew that existed and so she bought me some off amazon and it's a puzzle sorter and you get six individual trays and they can all like stack on top of each other, attach to each other, go next to each other, whatever you want really. But I thought that's so good for the jigsaws that have like loads of blue sky or loads of grass because you can put those pieces into into one of the compartments. So I'm really, really happy with that. I didn't know that these were a thing, um, but yeah, really, really happy. So all of those three kind of go together which is why I was saving them to show you them all at once. 
And then the next thing that she bought me to have fun with, again, probably for when I finish uni, is a paint by numbers. And this isn't something that like I've asked for or I've ever really thought about, but I know they're quite popular and I'm really, really excited to give this a go. It's showing it to be a bit blurry on this front cover. I don't think it would be like that once I've painted it. I'm really not too sure. But this is Times Square at night. Um, myself and Charlie actually went to New York for New Year's Eve in 2019. I was going to say 2020 then. Covid has just changed my perception of dates. But um, yeah, 2019 and the start of 2020, we were in New York and Washington. And so it's quite nice that it's somewhere that we've been and has got sentimental value. But I'm really excited when it gets a little bit sunnier than it is now um, to actually sit in the garden and do this. I think that'll be really, really fun. And then that kind of brings me on to the last thing that Charlie bought for me. I really, really like scrapbooking and I have all these supplies to make my own scrapbook, but I just have never started because they're all just kind of shoved into one little box and it's so messy and it's really like overwhelming to think about going through it. I don't know where certain things are. And so I wanted to buy myself some scrapbooking drawers just so I can organize myself a little bit better. But Charlie, I can't really can't really lift these up um she went and picked up the scrapbooking drawers that i was originally looking at and that are really really nice bear with Ugh. but they're these pastel drawers you can't see them all on camera but there's one two three four five six seven drawers and if i can turn it round to the side they're like really, really long. So they'll definitely fit like an A4 piece of paper in, which is good because, hold on. <laughs> like some of my main scrapbooking supplies are like pieces of cards and A4 sheets of stickers, plus a scrapbook itself. So I'm really, really, really happy with this. I can't believe that she actually bought these. I'm so shocked. It was definitely the present that I was most shocked by because I didn't expect it. But as I said, that was actually the last gift that I have to show you guys. I've also been so, so lucky. I have received money from a few different people in my family and lots and lots of lovely cards. I, thought, I think I showed you some of those earlier. I am kind of blocking them. So me wanting to sit here and show off my cards didn't really work. <laughs> but yes, as I was saying, I am incredibly grateful for all the gifts that I have received, all the cards, money, everything. So thank you very much to anybody who just wished me a happy birthday or gifted me something. I'm really, really grateful for that. And I just can't believe like sitting here looking at the floor in front of me now. A, it's a mess. But B, like I just can't believe how lucky I am to have received all of these lovely, lovely presents. I just can't believe it. I think it calls for a little bit of chocolate now that I've filmed this video because I can dig into it and not have to think, oh... I had some chocolate to show you guys, but I've eaten it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next one. Goodbye.